We're hearing that the Canadian Armed Forces have deployed about 70 soldiers to Jamaica. They will help prepare military personnel from the Car Caribbean for a mission to Haiti. CBC's Hillary Johnstone is here with the latest. So, Hillary, you've been following the developments this morning. Can you tell us about the latest here? Hi there, Jacqueline. Yes, we are getting word from Canada's uh, National Defence Ministry, that, or department, I should say, that yesterday some 70 members of the Canadian Armed Forces deployed to Jamaica, and they are going to be going there to train some 330 military personnel from a couple of different countries. So from Jamaica, from Belize, and then also from the Bahamas. They're going to be training them in peacekeeping, but then also in combat first aid practices as well. All of this is part of more than $80 million that was announced back uh, a number of months ago. This was in January from Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie. That money, the intention here was to support that Kenyan-led but UN-backed, UN-authorized multinational security support mission to Haiti to try and restore order. Because, of course, in recent weeks and recent months, the security situation there has really been deteriorating and things have only been getting worse. Now, originally, that Kenyan-led multinational security support mission was supposed to deploy sometime in early 2024. Here we are, of course, uh, staring down the month of April. Now, some context here, some backstory on this. This has been undergoing intense scrutiny back in Kenya, both intense public and legal scrutiny as well. There have been a number of legal challenges launched against this. We've heard from the opposition leader in Kenya saying, what will the president do if some of those Kenyan-led security forces return to that country in body bags. So concern here that this could be a very, very dangerous mission for some of those Kenyan security officials. So uh, yes, members of the Canadian Armed Forces have now deployed to Jamaica to try and help with training. But in terms of what happens next here with that Kenyan-led UN-backed mission, uh, still a lot of questions here about the timeline and what that might look like. Now, Hillary, within Haiti, some of these armed gangs have been saying that the violence could get worse in the next few days. But that one uh, gang leader that we referenced known as Barbecue, he, he is supposedly claiming he's open to laying down arms. But uh, what would that depend on? Well, he says that that would depend on him having a seat at the table as part of these negotiations. He says that if members of the international community are going to sit down and decide what Haiti's future should look like, then he wants to be there, possibly even with some sort of role in a future Haitian government. But remember, just earlier this week, the UN came out with a new report saying that conditions in Haiti were cataclysmic and also said that some of these armed gangs, like the one that uh, Jimmy Cherizier, known as Barbecue, is a part of, that they are really not helping the situation, that they are using extreme violence, that they are using sexual abuse in order to uh, try and control members of Haiti's population to try and maintain power there. So questions about what this is going to look like. We spoke with one expert who says that he's not convinced this is the way to go. Jimmy Cherizier, barbecue. I mean, he's definitely the most media savvy and the one most accessible to journalists in terms of the leaders of these armed groups, but he's far from the, the most powerful one. And these, these groups also have a really a history of being extremely fractious and, and violent with one another. So I think the idea that you could get all these guys to agree on some sort of modus vivendi in terms of how to deal with the political and the security crisis going forward, I'm, I'm somewhat doubtful about that, unfortunately. So these are groups that are violent with each other. And of course, as we've been learning from some of these UN reports, Jacqueline, violent with the Haitian people as well. Hillary, really appreciate uh, the context on all of this. That's the CBC's Hillary Johnstone.